In the 1890s, Belfast was one of the fastest growing cities in the British Isles, not to mention one of the wettest. And most of the big music hall stars used to come here to places like the Alhambra and the Hippodrome and the Grand Opera House. Throughout most of the 1880s, cup finals have been played here, just off the Ormo Road on the Ulster Cricket Ground. But by 1890, the grounds weren't suitable anymore. Four and a half thousand people packed in to watch the Gordon Highlanders in Cliftonville draw in the very first ever drawn Irish Cup final. And the IFA decided that this venue was probably not suitable anymore. The Gordon Highlanders won the replay at the Ulsterville grounds, not far from here on the Lisburn Road. But this venue at the time was the home of Ulster Football Club, no relation to the current Ulster Rugby Club. And they reached the final the following year, losing to Linfield. And that proved to be Linfield's first ever victory in the Irish Cup, the first of 41. The Blues went on to win the Cup six times in the 1890s, including a 10-1 hammering of Bohemians in 1895, the first time a Dublin side had reached the final. But by then, this venue was long forgotten. Ulster had pretty much disappeared off the radar, and this ground had reverted back to cricket. Today, it's known as the Olivia playing fields. sits in Springfield Road in West Belfast and that's where we've come to meet some of the players and find out a wee bit more about who plays for Ivy United before their second round tie with Broom Hedge. I know, it's not a ground top and I'm still having a pint. This is the Fort Bar and the Fort Bar are the sponsors of Ivy United who we saw in the last round won their very first ever Irish Cup tie against AFC Kilgavin. Three of the lads have come along tonight. We're going to go through the team who are possibly going to play against Broomhedge on Saturday in the second round of the Irish Cup and find out a bit more about the players. He's only joined this season, we're only starting to get the ball. Rocket. <laughs> That's all. He's the master of the team. Some crack, do laugh, and he's good. The human slug. <laughs> Ask him to do the human slug. I have to get that on video. Jared, Jared, hurry! Hey, you the vodka! Space boy, the Marine Hans Aid here. That's myself. You have to look after yourself. F fellas, I'm hanging nuts. Go for him, that's fine. He wears pink flip flaps. <laughs> Paddy played years ago when he was about 19. He was super strong as a bow. Put his fucking head anywhere. The same again, he's our captain man, he's brilliant, he's a good leader. He's a very, very good player to play with. I got Paddy to come up more or less and one of my good mates like with good old player as well, good captain. Tommy Duck, good lad, good player, good engine when he wants to be, but he can be lazy also. When he wants to play football, Thomas, good lad. The gaffer's nephew, say no more, <laughs> say no more. Gaffer. <laughs> Tommy, I've known Tommy, I've played with Tommy for the past 15 years, through various different teams. Um, good lad, good mate, strong midfield. Bit of an energy at the start of the season, but he's coming on strong again now. Um, good lad. He's been playing well. He's been asked to play different positions, and he's putting shifts in. And he's now back to centre and putting good performances in every week. 
Play Connor Vaughan, Dee Amo, Burnett Engine, put his foot in the head anywhere, same with you. You do anything for a team, it's good to see him come up from the seconds. It just shows you that there's opportunities for the second team to come up as well. We do. He's just broke into the first team this year from the seconds. Um, he's strong, he's good at tackling. Um, he's fit for the season, big lad, he's a good lad as well. Um, just ask him about the header he missed the other week against Bangor Rangers on the lane. Don't know how he missed it. Paul's just got <coughs> come up from the under 18s this year. Um, I think he had a bit of a trial for Lisbon to steady early on the season. Um, very, very skillful, but at the same time, he's the build a wee bit more. But he's more for the future, definitely. We pulled crack and scuff a wee player like he would be good for us in the future, so hope he keeps coming on. Yeah, well. We can, who we lad, who made the hours like. Uh, he only came off me on great things last year and he's cemented his space in the first team. So, good out there. We can, he's played left back, left in the field. He's still young, he's learning the game, and he's the captain's younger brother. If he makes a fuck, sorry, the language. <laughs> The, the captain does a lot of shooting, but when he doesn't shoot, we get him to play. We have to <laughs> now, my guy, my best mate, um, loves himself. He was a bar chocolate eating himself. Um, he's, the only, he's the only striker I know that probably only scores about four goals a season. That's all I've got to say about now. <laughs> now, the Silver Fox. He is he's a good player. He can actually score more goals if he wanted to. And if he released the ball a bit quicker, I think we'd win more games. But he is a good player. Now it's good. Big Hendo, he's a man as well. Uh, he's a cracking big striker, like if he gets his fat hold of the trainer, like. But automatically he's some striker. He keeps at it. Big Hendo, he played for Cumberac last year. He was up training with us. We were trying to get him the same last year. Some ability. He's probably the best player, striker to play with at the club. He's banged in at least 12 goals this season already. And it's good to see him back playing the first team. He's down the second to our week. We missed him badly. So hopefully he gets an R2 goal this week and puts us through the next round. Well, what can I say about Desi? Desi's just a legend of baby. Do you know what I mean? Um, <coughs> Well, I'll leave these boys out. <laughs> Daisy, clever about seven, eight years now. One, one thing Daisy can do, he can ping a ball from anywhere, and he can get near the sub -up. Good, strong, the ground, and he can score a goal from anywhere, which I've seen over the years. And he near to it in Saudi again. But never know, Daisy could pull one of the papers in Saudi, but we have it. <laughs> Very first time playing on the right hand side, he just sat there mid. Uh, sometimes I have to take him aside and show him how to pass it. Like, but when I do that, he, he, he's alright. Like, he gets a, he gets a hang of it and he starts playing well once I teach him. <laughs> Can I just say one? Can I just say one thing. I'm 33. He's 23, and I'm far, far fitter than him. He blows out his backside. <laughs> well, he goes a fit <laughs> Our gaffer, Harlan wants a lot he's your heart out. He's a button of him. Um, Jared's a good lad. I mean, like I would call Jared, I would call him a friend. I don't know why he'd call me a friend or not. But um, he's a good coach, good manager. I think he needs to change his warm ups. <laughs> They're getting a bit predictable. But nothing bad to say about Jared. Jared, I've known him a long time since I came to the club. He actually played the last season I came here. And he's a second team manager, he's done really well then. Now he's up to the first team and he's giving kids their chance. He's actually a good, good guy. George is own man. He missed George about. That's it, but he'll always give you a second chance. We've messed it up. He's had about 10, I've had about had about 10 chances. I've had, I've, I've, I have, I've had about 10 chances and he's stuck by me. But this year's probably been the, the quietest. Because I'm getting older and getting tired. But, but, thanks, Do you know he done the marathon three o eight? Was that a time or a year? Three o eight. He, he actually had an argument with a player on Saturday. Eighteenth, Navy old boys. 
two of them are competitive as hell, and the guy was smoking me accidentally, the two of them, two were getting each other. And the guy who yet to be Nobby turned around and says, I don't know more of the D10, okay? I don't want to play it. Well, she's we're here to play a match, we're not here to do more than so I mean. Sorry for that. I don't care. Sorry, Marie. Uncle Ger. No comment. <laughs> no, you don't want to lie. Good morning, sir. Obviously, you know, all's well, like, so get on very well, bro. Uh, enjoy playing on them as well, so. Yep, that's it. Who? Broom heads, um, I think we played them last year with Stephen Sons Cup. I beat them 2 1. Um, I scored the winner. Hopefully, maybe get a start in the middle of the squad. Hopefully, get a start on Saturday. Um, from what I remember, they were, they were a good team. He's <laughs> cracking Broom heads, we played against them. Uh, it's actually, they're from just outside Bombay Moor Ruger. A lot of players from Lisbon played against a few of them, played for Lisbon Rangers and that, came from all different kinds of leagues. I'm actually a manager, he actually played for Rangers, Billy Sinclair, I think so. He's Scotchman, he, he actually he knows what he's doing, he's got them well, well, well drilled, you know, but we, we were 2 all up that day, and they got a late lady, 2-1 uh, of us, and the press really hard the last 10 minutes, had us under pressure, but we held out, I guess we're the next round. Kremlin. Limfin, because I know most of them. My mate played there for seven years, Paul Mark Rigney, and I got to know all the boys through him. And I just loved to bust one of the players and lift the cup and give it to my big mate, Davy Jeffrey. We had a hot out pink with him. Don't want it, we'll take it, my one. Don't care who we get in the final. <laughs>
I know that uh, the other night you were talking about this match, you were saying like we should beat Brutal Edge, but do you think we'll be that comfortable in What is it again? Did you think it would be that comfortable? I didn't think it would be that comfortable, but we actually played well today. I say once we had our full team out, we could beat anyone on our day, and the day just proved it. And these two lads a day were outstanding. Absolutely amazing by Connor Vaughan in the middle of the park, as I said on the interview on Tuesday, Tuesday night. I said by Connor has some engine. He just keeps going and going and going, he's getting stronger. And Thomas again, he's just pulling the strings in his feet. And to get on that cross was super and what a finish. Well done, lads. Well, this is, like, that was a cracking finish, wasn't it? First goal of the season, like, <laughs> my birthday time, so I had to get, had to get one. Big pocket as well, Pep Burnett, Connor as well, whole team. Usually getting off a, getting off a slow start to the manager said, make sure we get a quick start at the end. That's what they did, we just flying, flying off at the off the market then. Well, you said you got off the flyer and then let them straight back into the match though. It's been there the last couple of weeks, like, but mm -hmm. as I say, the boys have been working hard, working very hard and training. And the last couple of weeks we just haven't had that up there green. Just always that wee inch out. So the day I think we just put it the gear. Everybody was up for it right from the start. I think we proved we're a good team. It was a great goal like, just before half time to make it 3 1. Any worries about them coming out second half and a wee bit of fight back from them? No, no they're at, uh, George just said they just keep it tight. He actually brought one of our right midfielder in their right back position and we made the support the two centre half. And it proved crucial because we got that fourth goal and we just pushed on from there and looked comfortable all the way. Should have been more. Oh, by the time they got the penalty to make it 4 2, the game was over, really, wasn't it? Oh, it was, it was it, but we, we, we always knew we were going to win that game. There was 15 minutes left and we just pushed on up the field and handled absolutely amazing. We lads brilliantly scored at least the 15 goals this season. As, as I said, the Ornette, he's the best striker I've ever played with for the club. He's, you can just get better and better. Is he claiming that fifth one? Well, he did oh, hit he's it. only got one, I got two. He <laughs> <has> <laughs> to two. But, and I, I say the management, we didn't say the R&D about Kaiser and Joe, like Joe Dorn. The work they put in is tremendous. The other, the other two that give us our warm up before the game is the manager as well. But I uh, see them are absolutely top match and brilliant win the day for Eddie. Even higher quality of team now coming in the third round, lads. Please go away and think about that then. Well done. Well done, Steve. All the best.